Hey everybody, in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks to be playing faster right away. Um, but before we get started, remember to like this video and to subscribe on YouTube. I'll be posting new videos every week, and here we go. So in order to start playing faster on guitar, um, you really need to get the basics down. Um, there's no substitute for practice and um, doing the same things over and over again. That's really how you get fast at the guitar. Um, one of, the, one of the best things you can do, I'm going to show you some exercises later in this video, <clears throat> but one of the best things you can do is to, to not try and go too fast right away. So um, once, make sure you get things right before you start trying to speed them up. Uh, it's going to be much harder to unlearn things than it is to learn them. So when you're playing scales, when you're well, um, doing, playing notes, um, make sure that you're, you're picking properly and getting everything done properly. Uh, before you try to speed up too fast. It's better to play a little bit slower and do it properly than to try and go faster and um, learn some bad habits. So one of the things that you can do right away to start playing faster is do uh, work some hammer on pull offs into like if you want to play faster in your leads or solos. Um, you can pretty much always play faster and move up and down the, the neck faster with hammer on pull offs than you can by individually picking notes. Um, so one of the things you can do, and I recommend doing all of these in the E minor pentatonic, it's a pretty standard position, and you're actually practicing the scale, memorizing the scale while you uh, practice getting faster. So what you can do is you can actually work up the fretboard in the E minor pentatonic doing hammer-ons and pull-offs. So you can start out in the E minor pentatonic at, with your index finger at the 12th fret of the low E string and just kind of work your way up with hammer-ons. Um, and you can just kind of work that, work your way up, practice that, um, and uh, just go faster and faster as long as you're hitting the notes properly and picking them properly. Um, that's good to do like when you're doing your warm-up before you start playing. Um, and then you can also do it the other way, so you can go um, and do pull-offs all the way down. Um, another way to do it uh, with hammer-ons is you can do something like this. So you're kind of, it's like a, a back and backwards and forwards ascending pattern. So you can do it going down too. So one thing you'll notice when you're using a hammer on and pull offs instead of uh, the a traditional picking of every single note is that you can really play that the same phrasing much faster um, without having to um, like develop a lot of uh, picking technique, which tends to come a little bit later. So um, like if you're if I was going to play something like this, like. <laughs> If I play with hammer on pull offs, I can easily play. Another thing that you can do to uh, play faster is use alternate picking and get really good at that. Um, that's not necessarily my specialty, but um, I have actually practiced it somewhat to get uh, good enough for some of the things that I wanted to do on guitar. Um, I mean, there's some guys who can play it, play with alternate picking really fast. Um, so. What you can do is you can do that minor pentatonic scale again with the alternate picking. You can do it up, you can do it down. And you can just, again, get it down really well and then just keep practicing faster and faster um, until you get some good speed on that. Um, and then one thing that's really good to do is because the, the minor pentatonic it's easy to use just two fingers or sometimes you can use three fingers. If you want to get the dexterity for all four of your fingers uh, really well, you can do the alternate picking exercise at the 12th fret. But use all four of your fingers going up and down. So you can go. You can do that using alternate picking. You can even use that doing during um, straight down picking. I mean, whatever you really want to work on, I recommend doing with the alternate picking because it really gives you good dexterity with your fingers. And then also, um, it works on the alternate picking too. And you can do that down too. And, um, and 
once you get really good at that, you'll notice that you're developing some speed. You can even like alternate and do like index pinky, but that's kind of more advanced. You can do, I'll uh, talk about that in, more in a later episode. And then one last thing you can do when you're practicing, and I really recommend this, uh, you can do it with scales or just with your playing, is close your eyes. Um, I know it sounds kind of weird, but closing your eyes lets you well, your body rely more on your, uh, the feeling you're getting from your fingers and working together with your body than actually visually looking at what you're doing. Um, it tends to help you develop um, more fluid playing. So you can do the, you can work within the minor pentatonic just doing some playing with your eyes closed, like. Or you can do stuff, um, just work on your scales with your eyes closed. So you can do something like, like do an ascending, the ascending pattern I showed you before. Um, and really just working with your eyes closed You'll, you'll see it's, it kind of feels a little weird at first, but it'll definitely help with your playing and your speed and your dexterity once you uh, open your eyes and, and you can kind of look at what you're doing. Um, so I hope these uh, tips and exercises helped you. Um, remember, you know, it doesn't, you don't have to spend hours doing these every day. It's actually kind of detrimental to, to spend a lot of time and, get ex and exhaust yourself. Um, really the best thing you can do is just maybe do one or two of these for a couple minutes when you warm up to play before you play every time or when you practice and in time um, you'll get faster and faster at them you'll learn your scale and um, you'll you'll definitely increase your speed um, thanks again for watching and remember to, to like this video and to subscribe I'll be posting new videos every week